What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Sound of Tech once again, and today we have yet another mining video for you. Today I'm going to be going over my top five coins for GPU mining because I am a GPU miner and I don't like ASICs. Let's hop right into it. So without further ado, let's talk about my favorite coins to mine on your GPU in 2020. Starting things off, we went ahead and headed to what to mine. Why do you go to what to mine? Well, it's kind of the standard to get an idea of any, if anything is profitable. Trolling down, quite a few things are profitable off the bat, you know, all the way down to Zell Hash. And in some cases, some of these that are showing non-profitable could be profitable depending on the hardware you're running. Currently, we have some testing going on with graphics cards and you can go check out those videos on this channel as well for the best mining graphics cards. But if you're looking for what coin you should mine, maybe I can give you some perspective from an OG. And by OG, I mean I was one of the first GPU miners to go ahead and grace YouTube with my presence and work through all the craziness that was the adpocalypse and so on and so forth. So what am I looking for here? Well, since I'm an OG miner, what I'm looking for are familiar names and names that have stuck around through the lull. Why would I do that? Well, if they stuck around through the lull, then I can be a little bit more comfortable based on the fact that they probably aren't going anywhere and they are passionate about their project and I can plan on them sticking around longer than say something I've never seen. Uh, an example of something that I've never seen before is Haven Protocol. While I've heard about it and I have read the white paper, I have not seen them stick around as long as some of the others and I'm probably a little bit more iffy on Haven even though it is high up on the profitability. So coin number five is going to be Ryo. Now, why would I choose Ryo? It doesn't seem like a super popular coin. It doesn't seem like it offers anything crazy, right? Everything's pretty standard for cryptocurrencies. It's private, it's untraceable, it's decentralized, it's anonymous, it's easy to use, it has a wallet. It doesn't even have yet like a mobile wallet or anything along those lines. Why would we pick it? Well, the number one reason you're gonna pick it is because the developer of Ryo, who stands behind it, is also the developer of one of the most popular miners out currently, which is going to be the XMR stack. So if you head on over to XMR stack, you'll notice that it's Fire Ice UK. And you'll notice that that is the same developer for Ryo. Why would it matter that a developer of a miner also has a coin and what does that mean? Well, in a lot of the fees and so on, the way that miners work is you have some donation stuff that's going on in the background of the miner and it will usually mine, you know, maybe something that they want and donate it to them and so on and so forth. What that means is that we have a product, the miner, right, that is financially supporting or helping support the currency. It means that the currency is gonna stay around probably a little bit longer, probably as long as Monero and any other cryptocurrency that's mineable by XMR stack, especially because XMR stack is one of the most popular miners around. So that is why Ryo comes in to the fifth place. Not to mention I have the, talked to uh, the dev multiple times because we ran uh, one of their pools for a while until we uh, shut everything down pool wise um, because it wasn't profitable for us and we couldn't maintain it without losing money essentially is why we shut it down. Uh, but that being said, uh, he's been around the crypto game for a long time and I don't see Ryo going anywhere anytime soon. The next one that comes into fourth place is Pearl. Now, Pearl's another one I had a close relationship with back in the day as well, and they're still around. What makes Pearl special is that they have been working pretty heavily on usable items for the public. You have Pearl Pay, you have Pearl Chat, which is in test flight, and of course you have a mobile wallet. 
All of these things are good signs. What it means is, is that the development team here is working through the lull and working on this coin no matter what to make sure that it's a good product. Why? And what they do have here are clear examples of them actually putting in the work. And I am 100% behind Pearl and I think that this would be a good GPU mineable option. Now, coming in to third place is one that I am not as familiar with and maybe you guys can help me out in the chat is going to be Beam. What I do know is just like the other coins, Beam's been around for a while and they're still here. They've been meeting all of their roadmap items. As you can see here, if we go down to the development roadmap, we are getting check marks on time. And this is a very important thing to look at when you are deciding on coins that you want to stick around. But the biggest thing here is that they will be working on, if I recall, a connection or bridges to Ethereum. So if you are hot on Ethereum, being hot on Beam is not such a far off idea. So go ahead and check out mining some Beam because I think they're gonna be around for a while. Coming into number two, and I'm actually questioning number two here a little bit. This is gonna be almost a direct competitor with Ethereum. The reason I say that, it's the same idea. What sets it apart? Well, what sets it apart is my favorite thing about mining, and that is graphics cards, and that is ASICs resistant. It started off with X16R, and now we have moved on to Kapow. I'm not a big fan of the name for the algorithm, but I am a big fan of how much more efficient it's gotten over X16R. In my recent test, it's gotten a lot better on AMD cards, although it is still better overall on Nvidia cards. It is a good algorithm and it's ASIC resistant, which means you shouldn't have to worry about them plopping off and jumping onto the ASICs bandwagon or even going to proof of stake like its competitor, in the number one slot, Ethereum. Now, everybody at this point should be aware of Ethereum. Anybody in the crypto space should be know, should know exactly what's going on with it. It's the number two coin in most people's eyes. You hear Bitcoin, you think Ethereum, and the reason for that is that they have developed the technology to run smart contracts on their network. What that also means, too, is that we go back to the Beam thing with the bridging, this is a, with, with the establishment of Ethereum being one of the top coins, that's why Beam made the list. Now, Ethereum right now runs on ET hash and uh, it has gone into uh, higher difficulty, etc. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to mine and the biggest downside for Ethereum to mine right now uh, is going to be your cost of basically transactions, the TX costs, the gas costs, however you refer to those, oh, choose your term. The amount of, of percentage of whatever transaction you're doing being sent to another user. The problem for miners is, is this means that if you're mining Ethereum, okay, whenever you have a payout, you're gonna pay that that gas cost or that, that transaction fee when it gets paid out from the pool to your wallet. So if you're gonna be mining Ethereum, the big thing to pay attention to is set yourself a high payout limit. And then with that high payout limit, keep an eye on the gas costs. If you see a big dip, maybe go ahead and drop it, pull, the, pull whatever money out you can and then up that payout limit back up. And then pay, it's gonna get a little more complicated than that and we'll cover mining Ethereum and working around the payouts and the gas fees in another video as I gather some more information and so on with it. But that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks guys, that's gonna be my top five coins for you to mine with your GPU at the end of 2020 here. So we're in September and if you're at around this time, I will stand by these coins though even further in because I think at this point uh, it's pretty obvious that a big dip in cash flow isn't gonna scare them away and you can be confident that they're, they're gonna be uh, around and in the cryptocurrency market for quite some time. Once again, the coins are gonna be Ryo, Pearl, Beam, Ravencoin, and Ethereum. 
You guys have a good one, and I'll see you next Tuesday.